So Chad and Lori uh, give a dingle to their pal Melanie down in Arizona. You know, the one that they just told the police. Uh, oh, yeah, my, my kid JJ's down in Arizona with Melanie. They gave a dingle to, to Melanie and uh, pressured her to go along with this whole ruse. So here was Melanie on the stand talking about that. Do you recall any specific times that Chad contacted you? Yes. Um, it seemed like it was a few days in November before Thanksgiving, and he called me when I was in Utah, and he told me that the Rexburg police would be calling to not answer the phone. Did he expand on that as to why he didn't want you to answer the phone? Well, I had to ask him a few questions. And what did and, he tell you? Um, he said that... Um, that the police were questioning at Lori's apartment where JJ was. And then I asked him, I said, he's not with Kay? And he said, no, he's not. And he had a nervous voice and I asked him if he was and he said yes. And he told me that Lori will be contacting me shortly after that. Did Lori in fact reach out to you? She did. What did she say? Um, she said that um, the police had come by and she told the police that I had JJ. She told me to go to, that I, uh, she told the police that I was, I took JJ to a movie called Frozen, I believe, and just take random pictures of kids running around at the movie theater. Was JJ with you? No. Did law enforcement try to reach out to you? They did. Did you pick up or respond to them initially? Not initially. And why did you not respond to them initially? I wasn't sure what in the world to do. And so Melanie decided not to answer the calls from the police. And then when she did get pressured, she said to the police, yeah, yeah, JJ was with me and then she thought better of the whole thing and just went back to the police and said, I back up, back it all up, I lied. I lied and I don't wanna be lying in any of this anymore. And then two days later, uh, she decided to call Melanie and Chad herself and she recorded it. Wanna listen? I thought you might, have a listen. Okay, I, well, when, you know, when I asked Chad the other day, I was like, hey, um, you know, where, where is JJ? And he said, for my security, he didn't want me to know, so is there a reason I should be in danger to know where he is? <laughs> no, it's nobody. It's his danger. It's the danger that there's people after me. Okay. We so just felt it, that if you knew, that puts you in a danger. <laughs> well, just in a bad position. Yeah, a bad position. Everybody, right. if they don't know anything, then they don't have to say they know. Right, so you're just worried. Okay. Um, I'm just to keep him protected and, and keep you protected and keep everybody else protected. i appreciate that um well i was wondering why you told the police why he was with me i just needed to you talk somebody that i so i wouldn't have to tell them where he really was because they were going to tell Kay where he is oh yeah, so is it, do you think it's like your family or, you know, like your family, your dad or, you know, those well, my people? my family, well, not my whole family, but as you know, most of my family is working against me and yeah. with her, basically. Yeah. Is JJ safe? He is safe and happy. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Um, Are you afraid of anything? Like, are you afraid to tell me that you're just afraid that he, um, that I could be in danger? Like you're, you know, like I don't, like if I knew, like how could that hurt me? I don't understand how that could hurt me if I knew where he was. Well, I'm just not telling anybody so that nobody has to say where he is or get questioned to where he is so I can keep him as safe as possible. Yeah. Um, Okay, I hope, well, I hope that he's okay. I hope you guys are okay. I did have a question that I asked Al at one point, your brother, um, if, um, if I wanted to know, you know, um, like where he was. And he said, I did not want to know. 
and that he could not be found. So what does that mean? I don't know why he would say that, but it's the same story. Like, I, yeah. I, want, I don't even want Al to know. I don't want anybody to know so that nobody has to be worried about it. I mean, nobody has to be yeah. questioned about it so he can be safe. Yeah, so are you, I mean, are you, how, how long are you going to be away for? Like, how, I mean, are you ever going to be able to come out and come back to society again? Or are you going to keep, you know, like, come back? I mean, like, what does that look like? I will do whatever the Lord needs me to do every day, so. Okay. Well, I just wondered if I was ever going to see you again. Absolutely, you will. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.